in his body on the cross because he loved us and to make a way where we can be forgiven and cleansed of all our sin. And he was buried, he was crucified on the cross and he was buried and on the third day he rose again and so too can he raise us from the dead when we die so that we can be with him forever. But if we reject Jesus, then Jesus will reject us on Judgment Day. If we reject the only way of forgiveness through the person and work of Jesus, if we reject that, then God will reject us on Judgment Day. There is no other way to be with God. There is no other way to escape hell except the person and work of Jesus Christ. All other religions will not lead you to heaven. Only Christianity, only Jesus Christ, only through Jesus, the death and resurrection of Jesus can you be saved. Jesus is not a way, he's the only way to heaven. The only way, Jesus said, unless you believe that I am, referring to his deity, then you will die in your sins. The only way to be with God, the only way to escape hell, is through the death, faith in the death and resurrection of Jesus. For God so loved the world, for God so loved the world, that he sent his one and only son, that whoever would believe in him should not perish in hell, but have everlasting life. But if you reject Jesus, if you reject Jesus, then Jesus will reject you on Judgment Day. Now is the time to get right with God. Now is the time to get right with God. Because when you die, it will be too late. When you're standing before the judgment throne of God, it will be too late to get right with God. Now is the time. Today is the day that you can be saved. You might say it sounds pretty harsh that we're out here. But what's harsh about condemning sin? What's harsh about pointing out your need for forgiveness and pointing you to Jesus Christ? The most loving thing we can do is to point you to Jesus and to show you your need to be made right with God because on Judgment Day it will be too late. On Judgment Day when you stand before the righteous throne of God and He looks into your life and He sees your sin and if you are found guilty of breaking God's law then the only punishment for you the only place that God can send you is hell. Hell. And the Bible says that in hell there is no rest, no rest, day and night, that the smoke of the sinner's torment will ascend forever and ever and ever. Don't go to hell. Come to Jesus Christ. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus, for God so loved the world, for God so loved the world, He loved the world in this way, that He sent His Son to come and to die on the cross for your sin and for mine. There is hope, only one hope, and that is the person and work of Jesus Christ, who was crucified on the cross for your sin. Don't go to hell. Don't continue in your sin and go to hell forever. But come to Jesus. Confess your sin. Change your mind about your sin. And put your trust in what Jesus has done for you on the cross. It's the only way. The only way to get right with God is to change your mind about your sin and put your faith and trust in what Jesus has done for us on the cross. The Bible says if we confess our sin, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. 
But if you claim that you have no sin, then you are a liar and you're in darkness and you will end up in hell forever. You need to get right with God. Get right with God today or face God on Judgment Day.